Everyone is talking about Novak Djokovic right now, but there's another high profile player who is returning very soon and he's had his say on Novak Djokovic. Here we go. That man is, of course, the king of clay, Rafael Nadal. He's been off not playing tennis through injury. He's looking to make a return in 2024. And he's spoken about Novak Djokovic getting to number 24, leading the slam race. And he said, I think Djokovic lives in it in a more intense way. For him, it would have been a greater frustration not to achieve it. And of course, what he's referring to is the slam race and being out there in the lead. Uh, the interview was conducted on Movie Star Plus, and currently all we've seen is clips. And it's in Spanish, so it's difficult to always get the, the most accurate version of the translation. But it's clear what Rafael Nadal thinks, and, and that is that Djokovic, for him, it is so much more important to be the guy out there in the top. That is what Nadal believes. Uh, Nadal has always said that he plays for the passion. He enjoys the fight and competitive spirit, uh, match on match. Of course, the goal is to get as many Grand Slams as possible. But for him to be the one out there on his own, that is not his ambition. That does not drive him forward. Uh, but of course, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm just quoting what Rafa has said in the past. Um, of course, he is sorely missed on the tennis tour. I think seeing Rafael Nadal play tennis again in this new dynamic um, is going to be interesting. But my, my big fear is that I don't think he will be up to it. I don't think he will be able to get to the levels of a Novak Djokovic right now. And certainly not a Carlos Alcaraz, even a Daniel Medvedev on a hard court. I think these three are out there on their own. Nadal certainly with his comeback can force his way into the conversation again but I'm really fearful that maybe the injury is going to be a little bit too severe. It's going to be a little bit too difficult for him to get back into that. And I'm fearful in saying that I think we've already seen uh, the best version of Rafa and we're not going to see anything close to that again. But let me know what you guys have to say. Uh, he did echo some of them thoughts and he said, I want to be back on court and compete, but I'm not expecting uh, slash hoping uh, to come back and win Roland Garros in Australia, that looks like very far away, even if not impossible. And I love this last line of him saying, it's not impossible because if anyone can, Rafael Nadal can. We know he will fight to the very end to produce the best results in the Grand Slams, especially Roland Garros. And I'm hoping we can see one big special moment from the King of Clay. But there we go. That's the news. That's my thoughts. And that is all of the main points of the interview, which has been released so far on Movie Star. We will have to wait and see on an exact date when Rafael Nadal is set to return. Most likely will be the start of 2024. And I can't wait to see him play in tennis again. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are. What do you make of the comments he's made about Djokovic? Uh, wanting the slam race a lot more than him. Do you think it's sour grapes from the Spaniard or do you think he's being honest and truthful? I'm interested. Let me know and make sure if you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. See you soon.